I just did something I've never done before. I almost, I like got really close to just starting the episode without introducing myself or talking at all. I was too busy sort of just in my own little daydreamy world that I just almost went straight into the next galaxy mission without even talking. So what's up guys, it's Daz here. I think I might be here. You don't really care, but I might be here. I might be in a completely different world of my own. Thinking about calling people buttface. That's that's what I think about. <laughs> but yes, we're looking for a secret star. And I would assume it's the warp pipe that I tried to get into and couldn't. And that's probably the exit or something? I'll work it out. Indeed it was! It, I just did it wrong, apparently. So... Fire flower! Break blocks! Inside you'll find pipe! Don't break everything, you kinda need stuff! So you actually need to be able to get up there, so don't break everything! There we go, that's enough! And here we find Gearmo Man! I'm gone nuts here! We're getting more and more boxes of junk every day! Do me a favor and burn all of these up right quick, what do you say? Well, let's put you to work then. A slightly different formation, but not too different. Ba -ba -da -ba! Shoot diagonally, miss completely. Shoot fireballs, hit all of the bosses. I will stop now, bleeding your ears. My ears are too, so does my voice. It's getting faster, I can't do this. I'm not good at this mini game. Six boxes missing. Oh no no no, that won't do at all. Put some elbow grease into it! Okay, I understand that I didn't do it in a well enough time for you. But why do you have to put it all back? That's not helpful! Alright. Done with three seconds to spare. Almost perfect. Or well, maybe it was perfect, so now that's more like it. Thanks. I found this star while I was cleaning. Why don't you go ahead and take it? While you were cleaning? Hold on! I think I did most of the cleaning here. Even though I left lots of litter and debris around, but still. I did the work around here. I should have found the star in a box and just taken it and ran away. But anyway, we're back in the engine room now. Yeah. A fire flower. Screaming pulsars! What in the universe is that thing? It looks like a flower with a face! Wow! Actually, it's only got eyes, but sure. It's a fire flower? Hmm. Well, I gotta say that, you collect some of the most interesting stuff I've ever seen! It's a fire flower. How have we not introduced this already? I don't know, but now all of the power-ups are here. It's all a good fun party, and I'm out. But yeah, so, it seems... Never mind. Hello, I'm here again. Lubbers mysteriously disappeared. He probably just, like, pushed himself through the window up the top here. That, that's a weird image, just seeing Lubber like squeezing himself through these little windows. But yeah. Let's progress! What's next? Uh, are we done with all these? These are all done it seems. These are all done. These are all done. No comments or anything. Okay then. That's fine by me. Let's go to a one thing we've been ignoring in this whole place. A hungry Luma. These guys can't eat! Oh, and we have 1,500 from this session alone. Well, alright then. Usually at the end of a recording session, if I remember, I usually end up putting my star bits in the bank tote. I do it in whole sessions, so pay attention to my star bit counter to tell when and when I have or finished the recording session. I phrased that really weirdly. Transfer! 
So if these guys can transform into launch stars and still talk, does that mean technically this galaxy can talk? I'd like to hear what it sounds like. It'd be interesting. It would probably just sound like because its voice box would have been like gargled into all kinds of different things, but Fleet Glide Galaxy. Ah, people don't like this galaxy very much, or if they do, it's, they just say it's difficult because it's Fluzzard's Wild Battlefield Glide. So it's basically the same mechanics of Wild, Wild Glide Galaxy, Wild Flying Fleet. Ah. Uh. It was wild something, yes. and wild makes you think it's going to go crazy, whereas this is just a glide. It's the same as normal, but even though the titles are completely backwards, the difficulty is completely reversed. Let's glide. If you can fly through the big sun at the end, you win, you win. It's the same as last time, but it's a little bit harder. Let's give it a go. I've just noticed my Wii Remote Center is not quite centered, so that shouldn't be a problem though. So, just like last time, uh, you want to go through all these to get the Comet Medal at the end. And you know I'm going to go for the Comet Medal because I'm after 100% in this. Now, you can go to the left here to get a secret path with these Star Bits. And if you don't hit anything, you can also get a Star Bit Gate. It's nice that you, ouch, don't die instantly though. Depending on, obviously it depends on how you hit it, but I like that it doesn't kill you instantly. Because otherwise I would have a lot more trouble with this place. Swamp! Please don't crush me, I'm just here for the thank you. I have actually had times in my practice file where it has started to crush me, but it didn't finish, it didn't get to the ground, so it would just sort of push me down really quickly. And now that we're out here, you'll see... Whoa! The whole place is breaking down! The door is shutting once again, but look at all this debris! From an un untold location. Oh! There's the last Starbit gate! I missed it. I was wondering why that wasn't open. Well... With this dramatic trumpet, we'll kill ourselves. Well, <laughs> the violins are still quite nice here, though. I feel like violin's probably my favourite instrument to listen to. I wouldn't mind learning how to play violin, but well, it's such a thing you got to learn that you have to deal with a bunch of scratching first. And I'm not sure if I can handle that. I did actually have the opportunity to learn violin for a bit. I had to choose between violin and piano, and I chose piano. Kind of wish I chose violin now, but oh well. You were, you flew, you flew, even fluzzard. Here, take the star, thanks. You know, I'm not really flying. I'm just holding on. Fluzzard is the one that's really doing all the work. But whatever you say, I am your leader. Woohoo! Yay! Give me more power. And back again. I love back flipping onto that button. Don't know why. Is there a second one here? There is not. And since I don't believe there were any comets going around, or maybe I was very not paying attention, I say let's progress. World 5 is complete. So now it's time for Bowser Jr.'s Boom Bunker. Bowser Jr.'s Boomsday Machine. Now this mission I like quite a lot. You'll probably see why as we progress, because I'll point it out. First of all, it's Mega Hammer. Seriously, look at him. His poor little remains and the Toe Squatter here. The Toe Brigade. I want to go home. 
Oh, you have to actually talk to you. This robot thing looks like it can reanimate at any second. Yikes! I sense danger. Shiver, shiver. And Captain Toad's like, don't worry, it's broken. Except it's not. One of its little chest things shoots bullet bills. Oh no, whatever will I do? If only there was a way I could outrun it and use it for my advantage later in the level. Okay, I honestly really struggle with this bit quite a lot because I don't know why I just can't do that last platform bit. I always miss or something, but all right, let's try this again. Bullet bill, do appear. Thank you. I'm going to long jump to give me more time. And maybe a triple jump will get me over. Please. Yes. No, it still didn't. Come on. I'm pushing forward and jumping and he doesn't make it. He just doesn't move. Ugh. Okay. Stuck in the mud. Wonderful. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Thank you. Follow me. I'm long jumping. Long jumping. Long jumping. 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 There we go. This is much better. And use the bullet bill to hit the glass. What did I get, by the way? Out of curiosity. I got a one-up. No? Okay, yeah. I was going to say, is that going to be stuck there forever? Because that'd be weird. Anyway, next mechanic. You have a cannon. It says fire. Fire at the target. And for that, if you get it bullseye, or close enough, you get a concussion. And a one-up. And Boomerang Bros! I always forget that boomerangs come back. It's like a, like, that's like a classical thing in, like, movies where the boomerang hits someone on the back. But it actually works for some reason. I always forget that it comes back and I'm stupid like that. There are some goodies I believe you can get on the poles there, but I don't care. There was a one-up on the left, at least. And now we're on a little save point. It's just a checkpoint planet. Okay. And another cannon. And... Unfortunately, you can't hit all those stubbits there, but what you can do is hit yet another target. Wait for the spiky thing to go past, and... Yippee! Boom! Ouch, that's definitely gonna hurt. That was a lot more distance than last time. And there is a Comet Medal on this row here. Also, you can use this opportunity to... Oops! I just wanted a bunch of starbits, not a cloud, but okay. There we go. Starbits, 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 starbits. The Comet Medal is here, right? Am I on the wrong road? No, I think I saw it there, yeah. Uh, whoa, I was standing and I wasn't moving, that was weird. Right, there we go. And now with Cloud, Mario, we can get across and break right through the center. And that somehow releases a launch star. Does that mean there was a Luma that had already become a launch star encased in the stone or something? Hmm. And now another one of the bosses that I like. It's not for the music though, it's for the actual design and mechanic. My dad's gonna get angry if I let you get another Grand Star. Time to break out my Boomsday Machine. I'll just relax in my comfy cockpit and watch you go BOOM! How? So, although the music's pretty alright as well, what you need to do is you need to hit him in the cockpit. How do you do that? You hit his glass. How do you hit his glass? You reach it first by using the wind to get up and then stand on it and he gets all worried like, Oh no! He actually, I think, releases electrical bolts to sort of take you off if you stay there long enough. So don't let that happen. Second phase. He starts sucking you in. So if you're on any clouds, it will go towards him and he electrocutes, like electrifies himself. Only lasts for a little bit. I guess it runs out of power or something. I don't know. But now... But he's done with all that, as long as he's not electrocuting, electrifying himself like he is there, we can touch him. I'm just going to wait a moment. There we go. And... Oh no! Boom! And here's the bit that I love. You think he's just a stationary tower? No! He introduces a whole tank on you! And look at the size of this thing! You can't even see it, but I love it. He just rams towards you. I don't know. It's a it's a small thing, kind of. Well, that's quite ironic. It's clearly a very big thing, but I like this. And look, see all the clouds go towards him. It's a good tactic if you want to get close to those. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right. Where's the cloud power up? There's one. Leave me alone, electrical balls. The electrical balls will make your clouds disappear as well, so yeah. Now, there was one level of cloud here, you can see, but there's a second one higher up in the sky. Like here. 
And whoop! Whoa! Whoa! That's unfair! That was my own stupidity though. I did a ground pound instead of long jumping. Oh well. Ah, don't chase me! Even though you're still quite slow. But it seems like the wheels actually kind of styled around Bowser Jr. And I've never heard this much of the song. I actually kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of uh, Bowser's theme in 3D World. Like it's sort of almost jazzy in, in a sense, yeah. Huh. I like this music suddenly. Boom! And he didn't even have any way to escape that time. He just went flying off into the endless rays of space. Presumably to die and fall for all eternity. Until he dies. We murdered a baby. We, no, no, no. This isn't happy. We murdered a baby. Is no one else gonna gloss over the fact that he just went flying off the side of the area? He's gone! Dead! Bye bye! Boomstay device! B -b -b boom boom bye! On the bright side, we got another world to go to, so. Heh! I guess we defeated Bowser Jr. for good! <laughs> That's the fifth grand star! I had a feeling you could do it! Next up is the sixth world! And you know that monster's gonna be... It's gonna put up an even stronger fight now! Yeah, because we killed his baby! So let's get those power stars and save your special one! The big fight awaits! The helm is yours, Captain! Alright, let's go! And now it's time for the final world. World 6. Based around a black hole, I guess. Is this basically saying that our entire universe is inside a black hole? Because that is a theory that apparently goes around, and that's an interesting one. The battle draws near. Do your best, and let's get him this time. That was weird. Let's get him this time. Let's get him this time. I don't know, I was trying to make Lover sound aggressive, it just sounds like he's like... I don't know. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna end it off here with this nice little music going on. For now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care. And next up, we're gonna be taking on the galaxy, or the world I guess. That seems to be the rest, like the end of everything. Everything's being sucked in, Bowser Jr's dead, Bowser's probably even more powerful than ever even though we've taken away like five grand stars from him and his son. So yeah, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.